Hi there and welcome to Assassin FX8 Binary Options Exposed. This is video 404. This is our final video. So today we will do a refresher. We will go through the concept which is price momentum. We will go through defining the rules one more time and then I will take you through entries on all the four currency pairs one more time. So let's go through it again. We, what we're looking for is a trend to develop starting from 9.30 a.m. US market open or UK market open GMT plus 1, Hong Kong market open plus 8, Australian market plus 10. Our first entry point may develop at 9.30 a.m. Therefore, at this particular point here, we may at 9.30 have something to do depending on what happened previous, what was trending into 9.30. And this, we will keep looking at this same trend continuing into 11 a.m. Once again, if you are from Australia or London or Hong Kong, you may be trading it depending on your time up till 11.30. So let's define the rules one more time. So firstly you need live charts, you either need think or swim, e-signal, Q charts, uh, free stock charts if you cannot download any of these it's uh, still okay. So what we're looking for is an upward or downward pattern to appear before the 9.30 a.m. market open daily. We are looking for clear trends up or down. So what we're looking for is for trends, clear trends heading in the same direction. So we are looking for three, so in this case we're looking at one and then this one pivots under, continues the same direction, the third one pivots under, continues the same direction and then we are looking, in this case we have four and then we have a fifth bar and then we are looking for this as the reversal bar. I've just taken this as an example, this is not in the 9.30 period. But just to give you an example, or in this case here, you have one bar, the second is pivoting on top of the one previous, the third is pivoting on the one previous, the next bar becomes a negative bar, therefore if the next bar is a negative bar again, we will take this as an entry to go down. So what we're looking for is upward or downward momentum in either direction, initially heading into 9.30, and then we're following the system each 30 minutes afterwards until 11 a.m. to try and find an entry point. So if, for example, from this period, 9.30 until 11 a.m., this has not occurred, we have not seen three or more bars heading up or heading down, we have nothing to do for this particular currency pair. We're not in the business of losing money, so we'd rather make a no trade then make a hypothetical trade or a guess trade. Therefore, once we establish our trend pattern, we then look for a reversal bar, either green or red. We then make the entry on the following support bar should it pivot. What I mean is, should it start on top of the green bar or starting below the red bar? So, in this case here, we have had a downward trend. We've had one bar two bars, three bars, four bars, five bars, this becomes the first reversal of trend. It has reversed the trend. This five minute bar starting at the bottom, finishing at the top, has become a green bar at the end of its five minutes, signaling a reversal of trend. Now, should the next bar start on top and continue in that direction, we will then take this for a call. On the other hand, should we have one bar, two bar, three bars heading in the upward direction, the moment the following bar becomes a negative bar, this will signal the first reversal of trend. Therefore, we will take the next bar if it starts underneath the bar previous and continues in that direction, we will take this for a put. So, this is the concept of the rules. So, once the pivot bar has continued, so the pivot bar in this case 
is if this is the first reversal of trend, this will become your pivot bar. So it's the following bar heading in the new reversal of trend. In this case, it would be this bar, but in this case here, it becomes this bar. So conceptually, we are looking for momentum price reversal heading into 930. So therefore, we can establish a first entry point and make a trade on the binary option platform. We then follow the same process each 30 minutes if that trend occurs. So we're trying to find that trend anytime between 9.30, sorry, between 9.30 and 11 a.m. So we are trying between that period, between this period here, we are trying to find that type of momentum. So in this case here, we have the British pound against the US dollar. So our trend heading into 9.30 is going downwards. So it's one bar, two bar. It's already 9.30, but it's two bars going down. We do nothing. It's three bars. It's four bars. It's five bars at 9.45. At 9.50, this is our first reversal bar. At 9.55, we have a confirmation, continues in that direction. We take it for a call, end of the hour, or end of the next expiry, it finishes for a win. So this is conceptually what we are looking for. So in this situation here, you have one, two, three, four, five bars. You're then looking for a reversal. In this case here, you have one, two, three, looking for a reversal. So this is your concept. Uh, I'm not exactly showing you here examples of, of how to exactly do it. I'm showing you examples of how to refer to these pivot bars. So the only time the trade cannot be taken is five minutes before the close of the hour. If there is no distinct trend in either direction and should no trend develop until five minutes before the expiry, then you have a no trade. So it's quite simple. So a little bit of money management and a bit on the currency pairs. So we will trade only these currency pairs starting from 9.30 a.m. U.S. market open. We will trade the euro against the U.S., the pound against the U.S., the Australian dollar against the US and the euro against the pound until 11 a.m. US Eastern Standard Time. So what we recommend is if there is a fixed rate of 70%, if you will be doing, if you have a $1,000 trading budget, we recommend that you trade only 5% of those of your budget, therefore $50 per trade. Therefore, you have the capacity to make up to 10 trades per day. Now, um, if you have a $10,000 trading budget, that's 5% position sizes per trade, that's $500 per trade, and, you know, basically it, it just um, nets you out, you know, up to $70,000 per month, which is an absolutely huge amount for just trading the Forex market. Um, so you can you can go over this. This is in uh, PowerPoint presentation. You can you can go through it at your leisure. So you must take this like a business. I mean, following anything, you we are looking at you know up to ninety percent success rate. Um, as I've explained, the U.S. market, you may be you may trade all four currency pairs on the open U.S. market. It works very well. You can then trade each individual non-US um, market um, in its own market. So for example, you could trade the, the euro against the US in, in the open euro. You could trade the British pound um, against the US dollar in, in the London open. You could trade the Australian dollar against the US in the, um, in the Australian market open. And you could trade the euro against the British pound either in the open euro or the London open. The most successful tends to be the open US market as we have the most price momentum. So this is this is what we are looking at now. Um, psychology plays plays a big part in, in your trading. Um, I, you need to be in the right frame of mind when you are trading. You need to be ready to trade. You need to be focused. You need to have your charts up and ready. 
now if if you are very confident and you would like to trade this on on multiple uh, currency pairs you can simply create a flexi grid on think it swim like I have here and basically go from there so on on this one you can see I have the euro against the pound here I have the pound against the dollar here I have the euro against the dollar and here I have the US sorry the Australian against the US so I'm looking at all four of them at the same time and this is the open market of the of the US uh, market so this is what I'm looking at right now this is a live this is a live graph of um, what's happening so let's go through some let's wrap that up and, and go through some examples so only invest five percent of your total budget um, make sure to trade from 9.30 to 11 only only on the open markets in London Sydney or Hong Kong for the first hour and a half um, trade only when in a positive mindset so be ready to trade be prepared have your charting ready have your broker site ready be ready to to basically rock and roll and be mindset and follow follow the system daily and do not deviate from the system so whether you have winning or losing trades you must continue until the close of trading so basically you you are looking at with with doing these these four currency pairs you are looking at netting out a profit over over time so if we are trading the four currency pairs on all the four market opens we are not necessarily looking at winning on each particular and every trade we are looking at netting out a profit so making sure that we win on majority of the trades so if our US market open is our strongest we have no problem to trade all four currency pairs on the US market open we shall then trade all the others on their individual market open to be more specific I would not trade the Australian against the US on the on the on the British open or the Hong Kong open or the Euro open I would basically just trade the Australian against the US on the US open market and on the Australian market open. So these are our preferred uh, currency pairs. And as always, never change your daily position sizes. Always keep it at 5% of your trading budget. So let's have a quick look and let's see what we have. So this is the pound against the US dollar. So let's have a look at the Australian dollar against the US dollar. Let's see what we have here. So we have okay. So let's have a look where we are here. So for this particular day for the Australian we have a no trade so we can continue with the following market open and let's see what we have here so here we have this is the Australian dollar against the the US dollar and we are now trending into 930 so we have one two three four four bars all heading into 930 so what we are what we are looking now is for a reversal of trend so we we have that particular reversal of trend but unfortunately this confirmation and this particular movement is not enough for us to be able to take a put so we continue through the day so our next one happens to be a new reversal of trend a new pivot a third pivot we then see that there is a reversal of trend at 10 a.m. now this is the reversal of trend bar we then wait for our confirmation now the confirmation starts below the bar previous and moves its way down so as it moves its way down we take this for a put at our closest expiry and the closest expiry is at 10.30 and that ends up for a nice win so I on purpose showed this example because I want to show you that this price movement with Forex is not great enough to be considered an entry it really needs to move and this is why I'm giving you examples 
of what we are talking about movement. So at least one quarter of the movement of of the bar before before you can make an entry. So you know um, you're looking for a quarter to a third, basically heading in the same direction of the bar before, so you can make an entry. So that's your that's an example of of the Australian against the the US and then let's take another one so here we are and we are heading here into 930 and we will look for confirmation unfortunately we go all well you could you could say okay well I could have taken this as the first reversal because there was two bars well you could not because it was only it was only two bars. It needed to be three positive bars heading in the right direction. It wasn't, so we do not take anything there. If this is the sort of situation we are looking at where you have a reversal, you have one, two, three heading in the same direction, you take the reversal, you take the following bar once it comes to about here and that comes up for a win. So that is the kind of movement that we are looking for. So let's continue further, and this is another day. And in this particular day, we have good enough movement. We have one, two. This is a green bar, but it's, it's such a slight bar that in this particular case, we will consider it as a continuation in a downward. We will then take this as your reversal. We will take this as soon as it passes to somewhere here. A quarter of the bar before we will take this as a call and this will finish up here for a nice win so that is the Australian against the USD now what you can do is what I've done here you can have all all your currencies set up and you can prepare them for for the market open and um, you know basically go go from there look so in this particular case here, this this is a live graph at the moment going, and uh, the the U.S. market open has has just opened, and we have here we have a continuation of three, we have one bar, the second bar gives us a confirmation, so we take we take a put on the pound against the dollar, um, on the euro against the pound we still do nothing. On the Australian against the US, we are looking for a reversal to happen from here. And on the Euro against the US, we are looking for the next confirmation bar to start on this particular, after this particular bar to give us the signal to enter this trade. So, if you were to, the only market once again where I would recommend that you take all four would be on the open US market. So, um, you know, this this is the this is the Australian against 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 the dollar, and we see from here that it has quite a lot of movement on the U.S. market open rather than any other time. So let's let's have a look at the. British pound against dollar. So in this particular case, um, 9.30 basically comes and there is not much heading into 9.30 except negative. The negative continues, the negative continues, the negative continues. This becomes your first reversal. This one here becomes your entry. You take this to your closest expiry, which will be at 10.30, and it ends up for a nice win. So again, you are seeing the U.S. market open is huge. It is huge movement up. It is huge movement down. You know, you, you could have applied the same strategy here. You had seven or eight bars heading in the same direction, but it tends to work best from 9.30, and the examples that I've been showing you keep emphasizing that that fact. Um, so nearly every day you will have a trade on the U.S. open market. Um, now, in this particular 
sorry. In this particular case, we do not have much movement, so let's look at one of the European Open. see what we get. So European market open, so this is the British market open. You have one bar, two bar and a huge third, absolutely huge third bar heading up into the market open. This is the London open. You have a reversal. The next one you will take as a put and that will come in for a nice win. It's very simple. It's quite simple to understand. You're looking for three or more bars heading into the direction, heading into the open market, whether it be um, the, the London market, the Australian market, the Hong Kong market, or the US market, and you're looking to, to take advantage of that, of that price, price momentum. And um, you can see there the, um, the price momentum that happened at the market open compared to the time previous it was absolutely nothing compared to this movement that moved in this 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. You had a huge amount of price movement as the stock market opened in London. So we are looking to take advantage of this open market with all our trades. So now the the euro the euro against the USD can be practically traded on on all market opens and there will be movement but the best market opens as usual is the open of the US the open of the London um, the open of Hong Kong and the open of the Australian market will give them a little bit will give them a lot of movement but the US market will definitely move it the most and um, Hence the reason that that's where we're looking for movement. So let's take another example. This is the euro against the US. So heading into 9.30. So this is 9.30 here. And we are looking at an entry. Now, you're only looking at one trade. So let's not, let's not, get, uh, let's not get confused about this. We're looking at one trade per, per currency pair heading into um, 9.30. So if, if you see another trade develop, like for example, here is one heading into 9.30. So we have we have the one red bar. We have a second. We have a third. So three three red bars heading in the same direction, heading into 9.30. We have a first reversal, and we have the confirmation. We take it on the confirmation as it passes 25% of the bar before. We take this for a call, and it finishes up here for a win. Now in this case, you could say, well, here's another chance, here's another reversal, here's another confirmation, I take this, and it's another win. Yes, granted, but the odds that this will happen all the time, and that it will happen like this, over time just doesn't play out. So let's stick to the market open. As you can see on the market open, it works very well and very consistently. And especially on the US market open, all four of them tend to move very, very well. So let's take a, we've already seen this one in the previous examples, and let's have a look at this particular day here. We've already shown you this one in the previous example. So let's go further back. And let's see what we get here. So in in this case here we have it going into 930 and this will be the first reversal. This will be the confirmation. You will take this as the confirmation and it will expire here and this will be a loss so just so you don't think that I'm showing you all wins um, there is still times they will lose therefore as I've repeated many times we're looking to net out a profit over time so 
on the majority of the open markets it it does work very well and um, you're basically looking at netting out a profit over time and anywhere up to 90 percent of the time you should experience winning trades so giving you a comparison this is another open market of the London Open and you see that not much has moved here in the euro against the US so be aware that when trading the currencies the US market moves these pairs the most and they are quite volatile and it gives us great entries in those particular markets so make your flexi grid like this and basically look at continuing so you know what we're at the moment taking a live trade of the British pound against the US dollar and we will finish up as this trade finishes up at the hour so we at the moment have another 15 minutes in this trade until the end or actually 13 minutes so where are we okay so what's happened here is we have entered we have had one two three bars heading in the same direction we've had a reversal we have taken a put here and it is currently sitting here so it is expiring in another 30 minutes or so far this one is doing really well so the others at the moment we still we have a we have a put on the euro against the US and at the moment it's setting up for a call on the Australian against the US while while on the um, the euro against the pound it's setting up beautifully for a put on the reversal so all you're looking at is to establish a a reversal of trends get a confirmation and take that confirmation to its nearest expiry so we i think we've we've practically covered covered everything here and um i think with with relation to to forex you need to basically concentrate as much as you can on the open us market you need to concentrate on all the other three currency pairs to trade them only on their market open um, and do not trade them on different market opens as over time they've shown that they just do not work so the the euro against the US works the best on the US market open it can work on the euro and London open but um, you know the 90% success rate works predominantly on the US the pound against the US works well on the London open and on the US open the Australian against the US works great on the US open and the Australian open and the euro against the pound um, works great on the London open and the US open now another market that that we found that that does generate some movement as well is the Hang Seng market open which is the Hong Kong market and all four currencies do work well on on the uh, on the Asian on the Hang Seng market so that's also very good market to uh, to trade the the four currencies over time what I recommend is that you you start to paper trade until you feel comfortable start to trade the most popular market the US open market trade all the four currencies like what I've shown you in in this grid here and basically go go from there so you know um, do your flexi charts and then from these flexi charts give give yourself an idea of how the trading will go daily keep a journal keep a daily journal of where you are and uh, give you an idea of how your trades are going and basically be ready to trade in between 9.30 to 11 a.m. if you live outside of the US concentrate only on the US market and the market that is in reference to you so if if the market um, if the market with reference to you is in Australia then you will trade at 10 a.m. Australian time Sydney time um, in Australia the Australian dollar against the US 
and you will also then trade all the four currency stocks on the open US market. So that that will be your assignment if, if you're in that part of the world. If you're in Europe, you concentrate on your European or London open and you also then trade it on the US open, all four of these currency pairs. So the four currency pairs I recommend that you trade on the US open market and then individually um, trade trade the um, the alternate pair in its country or region of origin and then inclusive of trading the four pairs on the US stock market. So this has been a presentation of Sassen FX8. Um, now I hope that, that you've gotten the, the knack of it and the comprehension. I, I think it's fairly straightforward. If you have any questions as always email us at support at binary options exposed.com and we're more than happy to give you further explanations or give you further entry point examples. I am Christian Jacobs and I wish you happy trading and the best of luck with Sassen FX8. Thank you and see you again. Bye bye.